tell us about the show, how it's been. Things are winding up right now. How's it been for you so far? The show is very good. Good and intense this year. We've had a uh, banner year for sales, and we're very happy with the response from the crowd. We can showcase um, what the differences are in our trailers. Sometimes what we find is if a consumer is to go to one of our dealerships and he looks at a Triton trailer and then a week later he looks at a Brand X trailer, he really can't remember what the differences really were. Whereas at a show like this, we can showcase what we do good and they can walk down the aisle and see the other company and see what they do good. That way they can remember and they can see and it's it's very easy to show a quality product when you're doing something like that. Right. So it gives them the opportunity to come hands on, see your product, compare and then make their choice. Right. And it gives them the best the best chance to make a qualified decision. So tell us a little bit about what you have here, what your trailer is. I see this one here like we uh, we load a lot of sleds and UTVs and we do a lot of riding and we do a lot of uh, mud stuff and you know the more tricked out these things are, the better. Definitely the people that, uh, you know, 20 years ago when we came to the show, the normal trailer was an open deck trailer and everybody looked at a clamshell. That's where they wanted to go. A um, few years after that, clamshells became the normal and everybody started looking to the bigger trailers as that's where they wanted to go. Now uh, we're into the hybrid trailers. That's kind of the normal trailer where you have a drop down rear ramp door and uh, you drive in and back out, that's kind of becoming the normal, but everybody's still looking at the V-nose enclosed as that's where they want to be. So everything's a progression and a step of where we're going to go, bigger and better. That's right. More luxury, more comfort, the lights inside, the doors that fold up easy, the drive-through, that's what it's all about, right? That's right, yeah. We like our toys. Something like this, we're talking, oh, show special, $8,995. Now, we need something pretty big. We, we need to put uh, at least four sleds in, all long tracks. So we're looking at probably a 26-footer. Our competition would probably call that a 29-footer. Okay. We actually call it a 24-footer because we don't include the Vinos in our length. Okay. So now, depending on if you're going to configure it in a 7-foot wide version or the 8-foot wide version, you can change your lengths a little bit. But basically, four long track sleds, 24 foot long is the best suited for the job. Yeah, probably eight feet wide because we put the UTVs in as well, right? Yeah, definitely. We make a series of trailer called the Low Boy Series. It is essentially a car trailer. It's got the wheel wells inside. Yep. Drop down low to the ground. We can put the extra height in the roof so that the UTVs will go in. And it works really good. You can side by side the ATVs into it because of the width. Yep. Multi-purpose is our, our uh, kind of mentality is it we want to build that trailer, so I would say the model would be a Low Boy 24 trailer. Yeah. And the idea is we can haul a car in it, we can haul the UTVs, the ATVs, snowmobiles, or motorcycles. So you can buy one trailer Covers and it equip it to do everything. Right, right. Now, um, aluminum or the steel? Everything we do is aluminum. We were, right. we've started 35 years ago as an aluminum company, and other than a pontoon boat trailer, we don't do anything in steel. We do pontoon boat trailers in steel, but everything else we do is aluminum. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Like, yeah. I, I pulled a 28-footer up here, all steel. Uh, it makes makes your vehicle work a little too hard, you know, it's just, well, and, and you're get you're overgross most, yeah. you know, you're getting there, right? I mean, it takes a lot of capacity out of what you can carry. That's so. right. And the fuel, fuel is getting so expensive that you really need every angle you can get to minimize everything, you need to use. So yeah. the aluminum with its weight, lifespan, you know, cost of operation, all that stuff comes into play. Now what about the Vinos? That must help in consumption, uh, fuel consumption? Yeah, the, you know, there's a lot of concepts that a flat nose trailer would tow easier than the Vinos, but in my experience, uh, a tapered Vinos will even tow harder than a full height Vinos, just because of aer aerodynamics. So the reality is, uh, steeper the V, the better it will tow, the more aerodynamic it'll be, is pretty much the rule of thumb. Yeah. Okay, so you're 24, which is a V-nose is really 29, I think you said. Um, what kind of weight is that? Um, that would weigh in around 2,700 pounds total weight. Unbelievable. The trailer we towed up here was 3,800 pounds. <laughs> yeah. That's you, awesome. Well, a lot of times what we say is our loaded weight is the steel trailer empty weight. 
Yeah. Oh, totally. A lot of times. Yeah. Not there always, you go. But quite often. Yeah. Paul, I got to thank you very much. Okay. It's been great seeing you and great talking. Thanks. And you know what? We're going to be looking at a new trailer very shortly. Yeah, if I can do something.